With three weeks until the first game of the season, the Bedford Stuyvesant Crusaders and their founder, Taiwan Anthony, have been on the grind. Anthony's not just the owner, he's the team's lead recruiter and fundraiser. But he needs money after paying $1,500 for team jerseys. He's looking for some help from his friend, John Alert, a local business owner. Basically, order jerseys in bulk, man. No, I can imagine, man. Footing the bill isn't Anthony's only concern. He has a clear vision for the Crusaders, bed first semi-professional football team. Do we have individuals that range from 18 and guys as old as 40 on our football team as well? But the main thing that we build is a bond. We build a brotherhood. And a lot of these guys are from local housing developments. A lot of these gentlemen don't have father figures. So when they come to the Crusaders, they can feel a part of a family. In Bed-Stuy, life for young black males can be challenging, but Anthony sees the Crusaders as a way out, a path to aspire for more. Mr. College, man! 21-year-old Kari Klinkscales is the perfect example of what Anthony has set out to do. Through an associate of Anthony's, Klinkscales will attend Pace University next fall on a football scholarship. He wants something that's that's going to be here for years to come and that's going to build success and it's going to build recognition. He wants to win games. He wants to make a dynasty. And Taiwan, I feel as though like he, he, he can do that. It's two weeks before game one and the Crusaders are preparing for their first scrimmage against the Brooklyn Mariners, an older and more experienced team. This game will pinpoint the Crusaders' strengths and weaknesses. So yeah, I think we are ready for the scrimmage. I really think we are. Um, it's going to be a huge test. It's going to be fun as hell. I can't wait. That's right. Try to get that ball any way you can. It's a must-win guarantee. Although it's a scrimmage, it's a must-win because winning is everything, man. People don't forget. People don't remember our last place or second place. It's always the first. But for Anthony, there's still work to do. He's signing his team contract right now. On the day of the scrimmage, a small group meets at Von King Park to ride to the game. What time is it? Game time! What time is it? Game time! What time is it? Game time! How y'all feel? Good! How y'all feel? Good! How y'all feel? Good! How good? How good? Good! One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! 20 minutes after kickoff, the Crusaders struggle to hold the Mariners' offense back. I'm not playing around. Get aggressive or get off the field. That's it. Get aggressive. Stop looking at to kill somebody. Stop playing pads, man. You gotta get aggressive. Y'all need to wrap up, make tackles. Hit some on. You know what I'm saying? Other hit. Yeah, exactly. One wrap, other hit. If you can't bring them down, do that. Let's go. All right, guys. If it starts coming down, if, it's, if, this, if this sky opens up, we can go into that, uh, that, that shipping container right there, okay? So if anyone needs to get out of the rain and leave. But with all the commotion, Mother Nature has a plan of her own. Guys, defense, listen up. I'm going to be coming into the huddle because we all need to know our, our assignments with our defense. That's the only thing that that hit on that last series. Hold it. The game is called with a score of 0-0. Zero to zero. Neither side can claim victory. There's only one week left until the Crusaders face off with the Brooklyn Seahawks. Space. Get more narrow. Keep going. Go, go. Come on. Quickly. Quickly. Don't go too far. Quickly. This is what we do before each game. Who father? Our father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
after the Seahawks score 14 points in the first quarter, the Crusaders try to get their mind back into the game. Wherever the tight end is at, that's where they're going. Their strong side is their fucking left side. You feel me? Those are their two best linemen. So, so what we're going to do if that's the case, so whatever side that they have the tight end on, we're going to shift over there. Yeah, that's how we're going to slightly shift. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But, but I, hell, I didn't see it, so we're going to shift slightly. The Wide receiver Terrell Ellis makes the first touchdown, giving the team the boost they need. But after their second touchdown, made by running back Alex Denkwa, is called due to a penalty. The momentum that was building slowly dies down. In the end, the Crusaders fall to the Seahawks, 28 to 8. First game together, we had a couple personnel issues, but we'll get it back. Let's go to the drum boys and that shit. You know, we had a couple guys that bought out today. Offense, defense, we got some good shit going on, but we'll get it back. Ain't no big thing. All right. and, and that's it. Three days later, the Crusaders meet on familiar territory at Von King Park. With the heavy weight of the loss behind them, they move forward in preparation for the rest of their season. What the future holds is unclear, but their bond was strengthened in the face of defeat. And Anthony's vision for outreach, football, and family has materialized. One, two, three, four, five, six, family! Oh! It's just not right without him screaming like that.